this <coughs> solid, holy moly, yeah, it's carbon. And look at this nice thin, it's just enough. Draws a nice halo. Hello, gorgeous. Look, string angle is nice. Mmm, I like that. But what I want to know is now in loops, are these lips? I think so. Is where they measure the draw weight. So it's supposed to have 35. Oh, my tips are loose again. These are my only th uh, 30 inch arrows I have left now. So this would be 28, 35. So they measure at 28 inches. While we are at it, huh? okay, fine, fine. So we have 35 at 28. Stay, stay with me, stay with me. Full draw we have 40, five pounds, two and a half pounds per inch, just nice. Look at this, 220 euros, guys. Shipping, I don't know, but you check. Nice. Yeah, okay, a bit, but it can go away. It's for now, it doesn't bother me, let's see. And then they tell you carbon is gimmicky. Look at this. Draws directly nice to, th Whee! nice to 30. And has a good speed, this arrow 360. Holy moly, nice. Look, Katra built in, decent group. Shooting while talking, oh, still works fine. Impressive, and I didn't feel now anything. Very nice. Look at this nice bow. Has a decent speed, I mean, it's a good speed. Look. With almost, no, not 10 grain, but, oh, too low. Bad release. Now look, once you, you know, what we learn in the course with the thumb to, she's awesome. You feel a little, maybe it goes away. So right now we still have a little vibration, but I think, I mean, even if they are thin, they're here quite wide. So, but it's fine. With these arrows, I'm at nine grain per pound, and this, I think it's it's fine. So less, but it's okay. So I guess eight, maybe seven. You can go. So I'm not really shooting nice groups, but I didn't shoot for a while. To focus, maybe. Huh? It's just a missing focus. It's a little inst, but even with nine grain, but so far this bow is just working. For me, the bow feels like 180 foot per second. Let's see what we get out of it. Uh, 184. Hundred eighty-six with nine grain. 185, 185 foot per second with nine grain arrows. Nice shooter, good speed to it with nine grain. Nice, has a little vibration, yeah. But can go away, maybe. Oh, this was a bad shot. The only thing really, is now a little bit this, a little bit of hand choke. But for the rest, this bow is just awesome.
that's a great bow. Does a nice job, seriously. And I think they limit to 30 inches for safety reasons. This bow, look at this, this is so easy. And there's no stacking, so it's, this bow could do more. But they're limited, which is nice. So you're on the safe side and you don't have any problems. I guess this bow would do 32, but we don't try because next door is 30. Sweet shooter, you don't want to put this bow out of your hands. Ah, that was too much. Cutter! Less is more. See? <laughs> nice. Predictable. This bow tells you what is going on. The only thing is it's still a little in the hand, so you feel it. So around this now another rubber, uh, leather wrap or something, and we'll be fine. See, when you don't do Katra, you ruin, <laughs> you ruin your arrow pass. But for the rest, look at this bow while we are at it. Look at this, nice, pretty. Hope it's in focus, I see nothing. Nice and black. Handle is nice made. Transition is, yeah, rather short. Could be a little longer, but it's fine. Handle does a good job. Great. Nothing to complain in here. You see, it's not really the Kazan. It starts here and then here is light, but it's, it's just one curve, so it's not... Mm, yeah, it's, it's kind of Turkish like, but the thing is relatively thin here. You see that, and on this side, it's not that thick either, so it, it, I think it's fine. The knock groove is quite deep, so you don't have the problem that some will, will splinter off here, but it's just a little sharp here. And for the rest, nice, only this one a little bit, but it might go away. But it's a good bow, nothing more to say. This bow is really good. 220 euros roughly you can have it here in Europe I saw it in a few online stores uh, it's the old mountain archery is not new they are set around since a while so they know what they are doing and this one is just a nice development so this is just and it's fun shooter you feel it a little in the hand but for the price, I can almost accept this. So they, see these are a nine grain. You feel it. There's a little one, two, three. Not in the limbs, it's just here. So, and there you really feel it a little. So if you're sensitive to this, you might wanna double up or whatever with the handle, make it a little more cushy. For the rest, or if you want to shoot heavy arrows, then this bow is fine. If you shoot more lightweight arrows, you will feel it. It's not a lot, so, you know, I'm a little, but you really feel it in the hand. So this is the one thing. And the other thing is the sharp corner, but I think you can live with it for the price. This bow does just great. The nine grain per pound feels just right for the weight of the arrows and the bow is exactly 35 pounds as mentioned and has 40 pounds in full draw so it's two and a half pounds per inch of draw which is just all the numbers everything works just fine here so a good bow for a good price Danny it's a good alternative and feels in my opinion a little better than what we had Handle feels better and overall this bow feels more premium. Maybe it doesn't look really like, but you know, it draws nice and it shoots nice, it's predictable, it's lightweight, it performs good, it's fast. So everything checks all the boxes you need, has a little hand jog, but hey, you know, and but for the rest, very nice. So, Old Mountain Archery, thank you very much for reaching out to me and sending this bow. It's really nice. Would be interesting now to see your Korean bow, how this one will perform. But this one is, for the price, a very good performer. So I'm really happy and I can recommend this bow if you start your journey in archery. You don't want to spend a lot of money and you can get your hands on one of this. 
old mountain archery tracker. Go for it. It's a good bow. I said you can shoot most probably seven grain per pound, but it's already with nine grain, but it's just, you feel it. Maybe it goes away after many, many shots. You know, some bows need time to break in. Can happen with this one too. I will take it to 3D and maybe do an update later or tell you what's going on. A nice bow. So go check them out. The Old Mountain Archery Trekker. Good bow. Danny, you will have fun with it. And that's all I have for you today. Thank you very much for watching, subscribing, liking, commenting on this video and sharing this video. Catch you in the next one.